Hi guys, it's Joe from Prepper in the Woods and I'm doing some woodcraft projects because I really can't go anywhere at the moment. Uh, it's finally somewhat sunny, uh, but then it does rain out of nowhere and you can hear my tarp as the wind's really, really bad at the moment. We have a wind warning in effect. Um, I'm just going to kind of just show you some stuff I'm working on and some tools I'm using and some new stuff I'm using and uh, I'm just going to make a couple of seats really out of wood. Um, so let me show you what I'm using. Alright, so these legs here are a bit too long for what I was using it for, so I'm going to trim these about half and then use these on a second seat there. So, um, about there, I think is right. I'm going to pull this one out and then I'll just uh, put that there. Right, so now I have the four legs for this one now. So on eBay, I bought this and it's a handle um, for an old fashioned auger. So there it is. And what I didn't know was it's 3D printed. So I thought it was a bit more sturdy than that, but I've used it and you can see the holes there. There's a little bit of wear, but I think long term this won't work for me. I um, just wanna show you, but I'm gonna make a hole here using this one and then I can show you what I think well, if you want to use it yourself, or get one. So, about there, there, yeah. Right. Am I gonna steep enough? Yeah. Right, so that's me making a hole with this one. Um, it does um, hurt your hands a little bit um, and the handle could be longer. But again, if you're going for a lightweight option, this is another way of thinking about it. But it does, every time I use it, you see it little kind of work on the sides there. I'm worried about this um, rounding the inside because then this won't work at all. Um, but let me show you next this one which is the proper tool you're supposed to use for it but again it's extra weight so this is more of a long, long term kind of state to it I think I'm down already And that's that one now. So that's two. Right now I'm gonna use 
the um, auger bit with the scotch eye now. Uh, it's a little smaller than this one, but I'll just make the peg fit that hole then. So out of these three, I prefer this one. Um, it's a smaller diameter than the other two, but easier on the hands and it kind of has the best of both worlds. I mean, I'm getting the longer option of using this, but I'm also getting the secure top of using the proper handle. So I do prefer this one. And again, going back to lightweight, it'd be kind of a lot lighter than one of them, but then a little heavier than this one, but also a lot reliable. I mean, I don't have to take this with me, I can make that in the woods kind of thing, but because it's already done, I just take that with me and we're fine. So I'm going to make this, the fourth hole here and then get this finished. Right, so there you have it. Two stools made easy. I'm going to make a um, hopefully a shaving horse, horse next uh, for some bigger projects but just want to show you guys just an easy way of making um, two stools from that big stump I had last time that I had problems splitting but um yeah about a you know, 10 minute project so guys that's just with, um, today's project I'm going to do more but it's going to rain so I'm going to have to go inside in a minute and just bring everything inside let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks guys for watching and I'm going to do some more projects in upcoming videos. Catch you next one. Bye.